Today we're gonna talk with Jeff Syke about his time um, in Arizona with Milton Erickson. What are the major and the key aspects about Milton Erickson's work, what we have to know about Milton Erickson to understand the work and how he developed this work further. I think we don't have to introduce Jeff really broadly because a lot of people know that he's the founder of the Milton Erickson Foundation and he wrote a lot of books about um, Charles' introduction, about therapy, about Milton Erickson and I'm super glad to have you here today on this Skype interview. Little Frieder, thank you so much. I would like to mention that we never met personally, but we have a lot of people um, who tell stories about you, about stories um, you have um, or from the time you've been with Milton Erickson. For example, Gunther Schmidt very often talks about a crazy letter he wrote to Milton Erickson um, to get a chance to learn from Milton Erickson in the 70s. Maybe you can refer a bit to that story and I heard you even have been hosting Gunther in his time with Milton. Yes. Well, uh, the first time I came to Germany, I think it, well, Erickson was alive. It was probably 1978. And I did a workshop in Wiesbaden. It was for a transactional analysis group. And then I did a, a workshop in Kreutelbach. And uh, Gunther came and Bernard Trenkla came. And so that was my introduction to them, and that started a lifelong friendship. Now, Gunther's English at that time was much better than Bernard's. Bernard has improved, uh, he's fluent in, in, in English now. So Gunther had the opportunity to come to, to Ericsson, and I hosted Gunther. He stayed at my home while he visited Ericsson. And that was a wonderful opportunity for him. Bernard, unfortunately, never met Erickson, but uh, we have a videotape of Erickson hypnotizing Gunther somewhere in the archives of the Milton Erickson Foundation. Oh. Uh, he's been a wonderful friend over decades. Uh, so, yeah, Erickson was accessible. He wasn't so easily accessible. When I visited Erickson, it was first 1973. Erickson was known in the hypnosis world, but unknown in the psychotherapy world. Uncommon Therapy, the book by Jay Haley, just came out. I special ordered a copy, and as I was driving from California to Phoenix to visit Erickson, I read Uncommon, Uncommon Therapy, and that was a book that launched Erickson in, uh, into the world of psychotherapy as being the founder of brief strategic approaches to psychotherapy. Um, so as... The, uh, so when I first visited Erickson in 1973, there was nobody there. It was just me and Erickson. And then I brought one of my friends to videotape Erickson because, and, and this was not a VHS or a, a simple digital recording. This was bringing big camera equipment uh, because the only thing that we had at the time was reel-to-reel -reel video. So I wanted to make some of the first videos of Milton Erickson demonstrating hypnosis. Uh, Herbert Lustig had made a video that preceded that, The Artistry of Milton Erickson, which is available, by the way, from the Milton Erickson Foundation. It's available actually with German subtitles. Your unconscious mind is learning a great deal right now. Only you don't know just what it is learning. And now come to your mind some very nice, happy experience out of your childhood. And I tell you to describe it. It's splashing in the water. Splashing the water. Tell me more about it. I'm doing so with total abandonment. You have what? I'm playing with total abandonment. With total abandonment. And where is the water? 
But don't you really know me yet? It's a lake, not the ocean. And I'm very small. Would you say, uh, three feet tall? Or don't you even know what three feet means? I'm about two years old. You know, somewhere out of the past, you'll come upon a happy scene. And I want you to visualize it. You don't have to have everything just for happiness. And sometimes we have trouble getting those things into the front of our mind. We can have a name on the tip of our tongue, but we can't say it. We don't know what it is, but we know that we know it. And we just can't think of it, but it's there, ready to be said. And let it come to your mind slowly, gradually, in such a way that you're not disturbed, you're not distressed in such a way that you become aware that you can handle things and understand things. Thank you.